Oh, might be time for a nail train. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Scotty Karate video. Best channel you've never seen. Today we're going to be talking about something that is common martial arts and you might be told to do it out of pure hygiene. But why? And that's trimming your nails. That on today's episode of... Yeah, nicely trimmed nails. Always a good thing, right? Well, why? Why is this something that we focus on at all? I mean, you're, you're probably already told to make sure your hands are nice and clean, your fingernails are clean, and they're trimmed. Why? Well, there's a few reasons. A um, couple of things that you might have heard, and then an anecdotal that is kind of funny and horrifying at the same time, actually. So the first one is because they'll talk about when you make a fist, you know, those fingernails go into that palm, and if you really crank down or you're hitting somebody, and you'll come across, you'll have these cuts in your hand because your fingernails are too long to actually cut into your skin. I mean, that is true. If you've ever had your nails go a little too long, you went a week without cutting them, and you should have, and then you're making a tight fist, you'll come across these lines. Now, I've never had it cut into my palm. That's just my own personal, you know, but I don't think it can. Not enough to worry about. And reality is, if I'm in a fight, I'm worried about surviving, you know, doing damage to them. If I take a little cut to my palm because of my fists, but I'm able to knock them out, win, run, whatever the scenario is, I'm good with that. But what if you have nails that are a lot longer, not just a little bit untrimmed, but like, say, you're a female who has nails, right? You have longer fresh tip nails or whatever. But they're a little bit longer. And it might be uncomfortable to make a fist at all. And then, you know, a lot of places, a lot of dojos, we're like, no, you got to cut them. got to get rid of them. No, you don't. I mean, if they're going to be that stickler about it and they're going to make you do it or you're kicked out of class, then, yeah, you probably need to do it. But in reality, you don't. So, I don't know if you know this, but... This is not the only fist that you can make. There is this fist, right? It's it's not as good. I think it puts a lot more pressure on your joints, right? As you're pulling that in, puts a lot more pressure there. But that's my personal opinion. I've, I've done it many times on just training and learning to fight. I've never hurt myself. It's, never, it's not like I've popped my joints out of socket or something. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but that might be just for me. You, it might not be uncomfortable at all. But there is a reality. You don't have to tuck your fingers into your palm like this. You can keep them flat. So if you do have longer nails, know that this is an option. It's probably not the best fist, but it does work. It gets your fingers out of the way. It exposes the knuckles so you can do your strike. So don't stress. Now, the next one is I'll talk about hygiene. And this is the one where I will say it's good to keep your fingernails clipped. If you have dirty nails and someone else has a wound. So let's pretend you're in there and you're grappling, you grab any cherish geese, and you start rubbing on these knuckles. If you've never had that happen to you, trust me, you will. You'll go home with blood across your gi. I mean, you'll have these rubbed raw. It, it happens. I mean, this stuff happens. But reality is, is if you have any wounds that are open and someone hasn't been taking care of themselves and they grab you, now you're getting that dirt and that grime or whatever they've been scratching out of their nails into your wound. That's a bad thing. Now, that is something I will say is very important to keep good hygiene with your nails. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. It is but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that, then? I've heard worse. Now, not to make this video too long, but the reality is, is I do have very personal experience with this that kind of traumatized me a little bit. So, 
in my Kyokushin school, I just started. I hadn't been there a month, maybe two. And a new person came in. And it was from bizarre from the very first second I saw this dude. So first off, Kyokushin karate, very traditional karate. It's not where you wear a camo gi type, right? You know, it's very, you wear your white gi, you know, whatever. This guy walks in in a kung fu uniform. It was, it was more than that. It wasn't like he, he was a Kung Fu student. That's all he had. And that's just what he wore that day. Cause that, that's normal. That's fine. Whatever. It was, it looked like a prop or a costume. It's weird. And then he had, like, if you go online and you type in like martial art patches, you'll find all these patches, like instructor, senior instructor, you know, black belt, blah, blah, blah. And they'll just have patches all over the place. And he had them all the way up and down his sleeves, on his pants, had a couple on his back, a couple across the chest. And I'm like, what? It just, it looked absurd. Just absurd. Whatever. Came in wearing his Kung Fu outfit with his black sash. Okay, whatever. Instructor tells him he can't wear that and he's wearing traditional karate gi, blah, 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 blah. So the next day he came back and he's wearing a white gi. Perfect. Under the white gi, he's wearing an undershirt, which is fine. It's, it, it's encouraged. Nobody wants to see your bits. Cover up. But the, the shirt was like a spandexy, like Under Armour type shirt, and it was leopard print. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't make this up. Okay, whatever. The instructor didn't say anything. He just kept going. He's probably like, whatever, you know. But what he had done since the previous day, which I didn't notice the previous day if he had these or not, but he had taken his fingernails and he had shaped them into like claws. Like he had made them pointy. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, Scott, that's weird, but why does that matter? He can do the other punch, right? Yes, but that's not what he was doing. So we sparred every class and I mean, at least some, and we sparred pretty much everybody. And every time I got to him, he cut me. So we would be doing our normal exchanges. And at some point he would just reach out with his fingers open and just, I mean, he was doing it intentionally and he would just pra pra, <laughs> and it would cut you because the fingernails are sharp now. And so I would come home with the most ridiculous scratches over me, my arms, my neck. I even got some on my foot because this fool, when I'd kick him with open palms, scratch my feet as that poor D had more blood all over it. And I'm like, I can't even be proud. Like it's somebody else's blood. It was mine because the kid was cutting me up. So eventually it got to be so bad that the instructor stepped in and he was like, dude, you got to cut your nails or you got to go. And instead of cutting them, he leaves. I'm like, what the hell? Okay. I mean, I guess that's his thing. I don't know. It's weird though. Now that's the most extreme. I've never had anyone like that in my entire life. But this guy, he just, but the reality is, is that was a very extreme case of you need to trim your nails. There are cases you need to. There are some cases that are, I think they're overblown. But for hygiene and the health of your UKs and your people you're training with, absolutely. Well, I hope you liked today's video and the stories. If you did, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell in the corner so you know when my videos are posted each week. And as always, the more you train, easier the fight.